Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. We have exciting times ahead of us. That does not mean all of that is good. All it means is that high volatility is expected in months to come. All right. Uh, we'll take one step at a time. We have a lot more to discuss, but for now we'll take uh, the next big move and then we'll discuss it. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss the Dow Jones Industrials S&P 500, Nasdaq 100. After we've done that, we'll look at cryptocurrency, see where exactly the cryptocurrency is expected to be. And then after we're done with that, we'll look at gold and silver. And somewhere in the between, we'll try to look at crude oil. Why crude oil? We'll discuss that in a bit. Uh, but let's start with Dow, Dow, with Dow Jones Industrials. Uh, back uh, when in Dow Jones Industrials was really pushing just above this trend line, I indicated that this trend line uh, was really crucial and when the prices dropped below it, that will be indication that we are going further down. And so far from that top, we have seen significant lows and quite a bit of move in a small period of time. I do believe that we are going to see a price moving come all the way down and probably see a double bottom as uh, compared to this one or it can a bit... Uh, go b can be a bit short or kind of go a bit longer but the larger pattern that we expected in the uh, equity market is the structure that we have here over especially the three indices that we are going to discuss which is wave A, wave B and wave C. I believe that we have uh, seen the top of wave B already and this five wave structure is uh, very special because wave 1 is the largest wave and wave 3 is not the largest but at the very much compare uh, quite a bit of small uh, of small length as compared to wave 1 anyway few of you guys are not gonna like the labeling but that's fine we have dropped the uh, through the horizontal support of wave 4 we have dropped through these uh, the diagonal line as well so where to now for that, in order to answer that question, we need, uh, we need to look at the hourly time frame. I do believe that we might be at the uh, point that we are going to expect some sort of uh, correction. So let me see a continuous chart first of all. Here's the continuous chart of Dow Jones. So I, right now we are here. The amount of the pullback that we have seen is indicating and that there is a possibility that we have seen the bottom, a temporary bottom, not the bottom, a temporary bottom of very small time frame. So we are expecting some kind of correctional pattern. It can go a bit deep uh, and we'll keep an eye on it. As, as soon as that correctional structure is complete, we'll come back and we'll look for the analysis. For now, I think we have seen um, probably uh, the low end on a smaller time frame and then we are waiting for the correctional pullback. Uh, this is going to be the story in Dow Jones and let's have a look what's happening in S&P 500. So I might have internet issues. There is S&P 500. Let's have a look on the daily time frame or three days time frame analysis and see what's acting. So the pattern is quite interesting. It's almost a similar pattern. Wave A, Wave B and Wave C. Only the inside labeling of Wave B is different as compared to what we have seen in Dow Jones Industrial. We are expecting for uh, S&P 500 to drop down uh, and there is a possibility that we can be a bit shorter off the double uh, bottom right over here. So interesting things to say that we are, I think that we have seen uh, the temporary top that we are seeing, at least the top of Wave B. Let me uh, show you this top I'm talking about. We have done quite a bit down and when we were falling down, we definitely retested that support line. So very good indication. We also need to look at that we are right now lying at the support zone of a correctional structure right over here. So a pullback, we have already seen a pullback. We are gonna, I think we are gonna see uh, the correctional pattern to continue for a few days. And once that structure is complete, once again, we'll come back and we'll analyze on the bearish side. The larger pattern, some of the uh, mm, uh, stocks within S&P 500, are quite possible that they are, will continue that, especially the weaker one, they'll continue on the bearish side. So the larger pattern I've already shown you guys, uh, I'm expecting some sort of pullback or correction and after that correction, I think it can take about a week or two uh, to complete that correction. And after that correction is complete, we look for more uh, on the bearish side. So I'm expecting right now a pullback in S&P 500 first as well. NASDAQ is doing fine as well. We have dropped quite a bit. Um, and we can see that we have crossed this horizontal support and this horizontal support. We were right, right over here. So at the top of the previous top, one of the top. 
so we kind of saw prices going back up again came down I believe that we are going to see some sort of correctional pattern we have fallen quite a bit in Nasdaq as well the larger pattern if you want to look at it I'm bearish on the larger pattern and it's almost the same pattern once again only the inside uh, labeling is a bit different you can see that we saw the top target on this trend channel that we have and the prices were right hitting on the top line and then we have cut caught almost the top of it and once the price is below break through uh, this uh, lower end channel people will be more concerned and they'll be more bearish so right now we are looking at it that we have already definitely seen the top and we are more bearish um, but for now I think that we are going to see a pullback we are not going to uh, bet on the pullback we are just waiting to join on the bearish side so as soon as the structure is complete we will join with the trend further down on the bearish side let's have a look uh, at cryptocurrency the cryptocurrency is very important the reason because is uh, um, especially the Bitcoin has not seen as much of a drop as we have seen in other currencies there's a possibility that we can actually go upward but there is also a possibility that we are going to continue probably see going upward coming down and upward so we have two possibilities right over here that the, there's a possibility that the pattern that actually started from the low is yet not complete and it's going on in that case our potential target is somewhere around 84,000 alright if the prices goes beyond these tops there's a however there's a ch also chance that prices are expected to stay in the range uh, meaning giving an indication that we already have seen wave one uh, on the bearish side and this is wave A or W and then this is wave X and then we are probably going to see a Y right over here in that case keep an eye that we are going through a correctional structure uh, so one of those things two things are possible uh, so yeah, as a whole in cryptocurrency you are going to see a bit of a uh, pullback especially in Solana, Ethereum uh, and uh, th which one is this fetch this is fetch.ai and Coinbase as well let's have a look at Coinbase and global link and then you can see that it has dropped uh, quite a bit as compared to Bitcoin itself the structure is very clear we can look at it I think it's more clear than any other structure that I have seen in cryptocurrency so we have a clear ABC structure I hope that you can recognize it I am clearly seeing an ABC structure starting from the bottom right over here this is wave A this is our wave B and the whole of this seems to be wave C within wave C we have clearly one two three four five structure wave A is, is not subdivisible but wave B uh, sorry wave C is further subdivisible wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and 4 and then wave 5 a lot of you are going to look at it that okay there is an overlapping in that case you can consider it as an ending diagonal okay so but the largest structure that we are looking at is interesting right over here let me have a look at on a daily time frame and here it is so the point that you want to bring in is that Coinbase did not go and create a double bottom like we have seen in cryptocurrency. All right, so this is very important point. Let's say this was the top 427. Uh, I do not believe that was the top actually, but I think let's assume that this was the top for. Uh, so we can still use uh, the percentage division to see how much it went, and we can see it actually went by five by eight right over here okay and we have dropped already 25 12 point five percent or m even a bit more than 12 five percent or the previous range right over here so there's a quite a possibility that we have seen the top right over here for coinbase uh, the structure is indicating that we are looking for the bearish move on the downside and our potential target on the downside will be just one more uh, one eighth on the lower side and that brings us to negative territory not possible so we are definitely looking to somewhere um, let's say 30 ish dollar there is a possibility that we are going to see 30 dollar back again to maybe we can push down to around 15 dollars there's a possibility of it so I'm expecting that coinbase uh, itself will go down further and then we're going to see quite a bit of low prices in uh, for coinbase let's have a look on a hourly time frame maybe we can look at the smaller time frame and we are seeing something that we are missing so you can see that the second leg we have definitely see a pullback sorry a bearish move on the downside and correction another bearish move so there's a possibility that we'll go and we'll complete the correction if this correction completes in this way that will be an indication that we are going to go further down and it will be more weaker on the bottoms on the bearish side 
to keep that in mind. And uh, I think we have done cryptocurrency quite a bit. Uh, let's have a look, and we look, can look at. Uh, um, I want to look at the crude oil. So an interesting thing about crude oil. Let me have oh, first of all open the. I think it was in. I think I had that in uh, in this list somewhere over here. Let me have a look. So, indices and stocks, crypto, forex, minerals, gold, and silver watch list. Uh, I think let's have a look. check like the watch list. Or I can go back and uh, I can. Okay. This is Brent crude. Uh, we're not looking into it. Let me have a look. Okay. <laughs> US oil, mm, crude oil futures. Yeah, that's the chart. I think that's the chart. Yeah, that's the chart. Okay. An interesting point is that I was going to uh, give a forecast on crude oil, and then I stayed uh, back. The reason is simple. Uh, let me have a go and have a look. And I think we can leave them over here, even though even though they are annoying. So I was going to come uh, and have a look uh, that we have one of the two possibilities. Uh, we're going to discuss both of the mean uh, and uh, let's have a look from the first of all. I do believe that what I'm going to say is going to annoy a lot of people and I thought that we were looking for the bearish outlook in crude oil. Okay, This is my, uh, this is my idea that on the longer time frame we are looking at a trend on the bearish side. All right. And but since a lot of people were really bullish, uh, I, I stayed on. Okay, I'm gonna wait a bit before I make a forecast. But what happened uh, when Israel attacked Iran on that day is uh, helping me uh, to see that no, I'm right, and a lot of people are going to get it wrong. Okay. So what I'm looking at on a smaller time frame. Let's have a look on a four lower time frame. So one of the two possibilities is that we have seen a top right over here. In that case, we are heading downward uh, and we'll continue downward. The other possibility is that no, we have not seen the the top right over here. In that case, we will continue being in this range. All right. And I think uh, we'll, we'll take the second opportunity a bit more uh, till we actually clear the resistance on the downside in the bearish trend. Okay. So what I'm seeing is right now is that the bearish trend, uh, I'm expecting the bearish trend in crude oil on the long time frame, and I'm expecting from the top to bottom, definitely we are looking for the prices to go further on, uh, in further down in the further on the bearish side in crude oil. On a smaller time frame, however, there is a possibility that we can still be stuck in the range that we have over here, which is right over here, right over here, right over here. I do believe that at least the swing that was going on right over here is complete. And in that case, we are expecting for the prices to come down on the bearish side. This is I am more clearer about. Okay, Whether we will be able to penetrate through it is another question. But I think that we have seen the top of this swing right over here. In that case, two possibilities are we're, we're definitely looking for the bearish side. This is one thing is happening. If we see the resistance right over here, in that case, there's a possibility that we are going to uh, see this structure. Do you identify this structure? I'm going to see in a bit. So this is one of the possibility. And let me, let me see what the structure is. In this case, this is a zigzag pattern. This is an X, which is also a zigzag pattern. And that's, this becomes a flat correction. So we have a double three structure starting from this bottom right over here. Okay. 
from this because this is zigzag which is w this is x and this is y after that structure is complete we are definitely looking for a swing on the bearish side which is going to be probably as strong as this one the other possibility is that no we have seen the correction pattern that actually started from over here in that case we are expecting for the price to complete over here and we are expecting the behavior to continue on the bearish side either say either um, uh, point is indicating that we have seen the top right over here and in order to do so we can look at a smaller time frame analysis which is an hourly time frame so why I'm saying that because we have a clear structure which is indicating uh, ABC structure okay and once again if you look at the structure it's not going to the it's not the structure that a lot of people are going to like but I'm considering that this is wave A and this whole is wave B and then we have wave 1 and 2 we have wave 3 we have wave 4 and then we have wave 5 that completes the structure and the reason I'm saying is that okay it made me more confident because price of um, crude oil went from $81 all the way back to $85.50 ish dollar, $85.60 and then it fell down again alright giving more indication that okay if there was some weakness on the in the on the upside we will definitely be seeing the this to continue on we have not the reason the whole point that p price went up and then came down with such big reversal in a small period of time is indicating uh, that at least on a smaller time frame we have seen the completion so what we can do on a smaller time frame we can label this chart from over here bottom a this is our a and that's our b and that's our wave c Within wave C, we are seeing that C is more subdivisible. We can look at the start of the structure from over here. This is our wave 1 and 2. Once again, wave 3 and wave 4, and that's wave 5. So what we can do right now is that we can leave the labeling right over here. Uh, but if we, let's say if you do not want to clutter, um, okay, let's leave it. Maybe it can help some people. So what we can do is that we can bring the channel right over here, and we can see maybe that we are seeing a clear channel being drawn right over here now does it seem something interesting that you see did you find something interesting on the uh, on the chart right now the interesting thing is that as we join the trend chain, this low and this low we can see that when prices drop below it it retests that area so this is giving more indication that okay the same level which was actually support right now has become support on the bearish side which was actually support for the bullish side now has become support for the bearish side so we are looking for the completion of the pattern right now possibly as soon as the pattern is complete we will be on the bearish side further but we need to see where exactly this price is expecting i'm expecting that we can see uh, the prices to go uh, complete the structure okay let's see how it unfolds in case uh, let's say if it unfolds at the correctional pattern it does not go below and then falls down in that case we can consider the previous stop as uh, our stop loss but I think that there is a possibility that we are going to continue either way I think that we are going to see this at the top which is right over here this at the top and we are falling on the bearish side okay I hope that it provides some assistance I'm bearish on crude oil and I see the uh, long term analysis on the bearish side as well as far as whether we are going to find a support in uh, somewhere around, around $70 we'll look at it and we'll decide whether the structure is completing at that point or not and we'll try to conclude crude oil in our analysis too uh, let me see if we can actually add that to our watch list uh, add CL to watch list or we can add that in our uh, stocks okay let's uh, yeah we can add that in the stocks okay and then I'll try to find a separate uh, list for this I need to make a new watch list for it so let's have a look at gold and silver see how gold and silver are doing now the point with the gold and silver is that I wanted to make an important point that a lot of people are uh, looking at smaller waves right now to not look at smaller waves I promise you a year from now you'll be looking uh, that how did you manage to miss such an amazing trend alright so be really careful uh, do not worry about smaller movements let me tell you what I'm looking at right now 
I was one of the very few people who are bearish on gold, expecting that we are pr probably going to see a continuation of the on the bout side. Then I realized I made a horrible, horrible calculation mistake, and that was. But anyway, I came uh, back and I told you guys somewhere over here that we are expecting on the bullish side, and we are right now. I'm telling you guys that the year 2024, at least the remaining year, is going to be absolutely bullish uh, for gold and silver. So we are expecting for the prices to, I think the target I gave was um, $3,600 for the year end, okay? So the pot potential target for gold in 2020 by the year end is somewhere around $3,600, somewhere in that range. It could go a bit high, higher as well. So I'm expecting 2024 to be extremely bullish, especially for gold and silver. We have come out of the range and this is going to continue uh, quite a bit before we actually see some break. Let's have a look on the daily time frame and I need to correct a bit of labeling. If you have seen my previous analysis, just a bit of uh, change with the labeling and I wanted to include that. So we definitely are, um, I think we have completed the correction right over here. We are waiting for the prices to go upward and somewhere around 2650-ish, once prices reach there, 2658, we are waiting the, for the correction of the whole uh, structure that actually started from over here. Okay. So this is the one and two, three and four. We are waiting for the prices to go upward somewhere around uh, 2650, which is somewhere over here. Okay. And then after, as soon as that is complete, we'll wait for the pullback, this pullback. Okay. And that can be somewhere around, I would say 25% of, of the whole range. But for now, the next week is very easy. We are looking at the low end, which is 2330. 20, uh, 23 I'm expecting 2330 to be holding, and then we're expecting a clear bullish move next week. All right? And even some uh, more days in the next week as well, week after that. Here is some more labeling. So this is a clear zigzag pattern. We were expecting that we have seen a correction pattern complete and we are absolutely waiting for the price movement to go up. Let's have a look at silver. Silver is also completing a similar behavior. We are waiting for the silver to complete fifth wave. Here is the more uh, likely labeling from the bottom right over here. This is wave one and two, wave three and wave four. Right now, as you guys can see, we have already seen smaller sub wave one and sub wave two is going to continue a bit and then we are expecting for the prices on the upside. I wanted to add something on a 15 minute chart um, and there's a possibility that we are going to see uh, the structure complete, okay? I'm expecting, and I'll discuss that in gold as well. I'm expecting a small prop push up upward and then probably come down this way. And then from this here, we can continue up with, okay? This not necessarily means, what it means is that maybe uh, you might want to be a bit careful, especially not buying over here, okay? Wait for the clear breakup before the prices go above. So then I'm expecting another price on for, uh, on, uh, another price movement in the range. Let's have a look at silver uh, at gold. I want to discuss. So gold, I believe that we are going to see a behavior like this. Uh, I think we are expecting another push up and something like this is expected. Okay, and then upward. But the main point that I wanted to include that from this bottom we are looking for the bullish side in gold potential target is 26.50 okay I hope that I was of some assistance uh, especially uh, stock market is doing amazingly uh, we almost called the exact top in stock market wish you good luck with your trading and have a good one bye bye